Lava. Okay, um, I'm about to start my class. My name is Dr. Christopher Imumole, and I'll be taking you 400 level research methodology class. I believe all students are listening as um, the class has commenced. I have just 53 students here, and um, I hope all last Sunday. I would like you to unmute your mic for last Sunday so that I want to ask some questions before we start the class. Sound no me, and kindly unmute your mic. I would like you guys to tell me what you understand by um, project methodology and um, research methodology before I start. Some of you, I, I need you joy of all, joy of all, of all, unmute your mic, unmute your mic. Mata um Mata Nkiruka Ago. I want you to unmute your mic and um, I want you guys to tell me what you understand by research methodology before I commence the class. So if um just click on the red mic icon, you can unmute your mic yourself, then I will allow you to tell me quickly what you understand by research method because i believe this class must have been ongoing before um, the federal government's request that many of us do so someone has unmuted is my dad is um toluwa she patoroti so patoroti toluwa she can you tell me what you understand by research methodology please sanumi oluwa funila Sir. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. I can hear you. Go ahead. I can say research so is a process. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Research is a process of finding out the aspects of ideas or knowledge which people are not clear about or they are yet to know, sir. Okay, I think um, that is a very good, a very good response. I think you are you are you are seventy percent correct at this year. So I would like someone else to also give me what you understand. I want to know to what level we understand what research must do because this um topic is very very important um, as it relates to your project work because if you do not understand this accurately, it's going to affect. The way you're going to construct your project work and for us you know project itself is about 16 credit points so it's like eight courses added together that makes up what you watch your project is so it's important we understand what research deliverable is what research and um, so why i allow i omit you guys i would like you guys to to maintain the quorum and ensure that your where you are is very 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 cool. So I have also shared my screen so you can see the material with which I'll be using to give the 40 minute lecture. Remember, this is gonna be a four content lecture class. So we are gonna be having this four Mondays, same time. So I want you guys to so we are gonna be doing we'll be looking at the presentation of research. We're also gonna be looking at research paradigm, we'll be looking at research methodologies and some other um, forms of research. So research, what is research? Like um, you have rightly explained, I will be giving it a little bit more flesh. Research is going to your personal experience, thoughts, feelings, and opinion that do not refer to other source of information, going beyond. We've seen a lot of persons said that even trying to know beyond the physical aspect of man, mental physics, is also an advancement of searching. You know, one of the major issues we have with the world is to be today is man wanting to have to know more, the quest to have more knowledge. You know, you see people now travel to space, people travel to other planets, trying to know more it's a medical research. Today we have the COVID-19 pandemic all around, and um, people are spending so much money to research on the drugs that can be used to combat the virus. So when you go into a quest, when you embark on a quest to know beyond 
the personal experience, personal thoughts, personal feeling and knowledge, we, we, we term it as researching, that is the quest and venture to know more. Some subjects require us to go beyond our personal knowledge. And so when you're going to be writing your project, your project will not be based on just your personal knowledge. Of course, your personal knowledge to a large extent would help to guide your project writer. But now you need to carry out extensive research, extensive digging to be able to know more about the subject matter. I want to believe that many of you have started writing. Have you guys started writing your project? No, sir. Have you, which semester are you? Are you first or second semester? Yes, sir, second semester, 400 level. We are yet to submit a, a topic. By now, you should have started writing your project. Have you gotten your project topic? No, sir. We are yet to submit. So we can approve it, sir. Okay, so all of you are going to submit me your project topic. That is the first assignment. You are going to send it to my mail. My email address is irenuba at yahoo.com. Irenuba is spelled I R E N U B A. I R E N U B A. You are going to submit three project topics to me. Okay, sir. You're going to write your name, your department, your center to everybody. So it means that I'm now the one supervising virtually everybody now. So your project topic, three project topics you are going to submit. I'm going to look at the topic. If the topic is well written, I'm not going to give you any guide as to how a project topic will be written. I want you guys to research on how a project topic must be written. So for example, let me help. If you are going, if your project is, what department are you? What, what department are you? Educational planning management, sir. Educational planning. So if your project is um, um, comprehensive, um, comprehensive um, or what's it called? If your project topic is on, I'm trying to look at the project topic that is that is um that is in, in that range. If your project topic, for example, is on child education, or you are trying to look at as using the note as a case study, maybe a project topic like um, poor educational system, not a factor of insecurity in Nigeria. You can see. So you are not trying to tie poor education in the north as being responsible as one of the major factors for insecurity in the north. That is the kind of research I want to see. So you can see the topic must be coined as a detailed research. You can see a detailed research on how poor education has impacted insecurity in the north. That is a good project topic. But if you write your project topic as um, poor education in the north, responsible, being responsible for insecurity is not a well-coined topic. So whatever topic you have, you must probably
Be here waiting for you, sir. Three 